Have you ever watched gardeners online, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, and you're like, why is their garden always so perfect? Well, today I'm gonna to tell you why. And that is because we only let the camera see just a few things, at least that's the case for me and my garden. So I was thinking about it and the fact that I probably present a little too much perfection online. And so today I'm gonna to show you everything. In fact, in this video, I'm gonna show you at least 10 things I'm super embarrassed to show you in my garden. You ready? You're not gonna think I'm perfect. If You probably never thought I was perfect, but yeah, it's gonna be embarrassing. Let's do it. All right, it is time for me to be embarrassed. I'm already sweating. I don't know if I'm sweating because it's hot or because I'm nervous. Um, no, seriously, I love having you here on the Gardenary channel. Gardenary is all about making the garden ordinary. So if you would like to make the garden ordinary in your own life and all the people's lives around you, um, then you gotta subscribe to the channel. As soon as you subscribe to the Gardenary channel, well, after you watch this video, or maybe pause it and go do it, subscribe, go email us at hello at gardenary.com. Show us that you subscribed and we'll give you a free gift on the house um, to keep you growing. So let's dig in, get into it, dig into it. I'm gonna show you some things that embarrass me about my garden, things I usually hide from Instagram and YouTube and all the places so that um, you think I'm perfect. No, I don't want you to think I'm perfect, but it's just kind of embarrassing. So let's start off here. Just noticed this the other morning. Um, I left I left all these potatoes to just rot right here in my garden. So I made a video about planting potatoes and my potatoes are doing pretty good. They look pretty healthy. Um, and then I just left like four of them to just sit here and feel very sad. So that makes me sad for the potatoes because they're not living their best life and it also makes me embarrassed. Um, that's number one. Number two, there's a lot like right up here in the front. Um, number two is that I never picked my broccoli. So I was growing this broccoli and I'm just gonna be honest, like the life of someone who's trying to teach gardening and document gardening is a little tough because there's these little short windows where we can show you stuff when it's perfect and then the window's over. It's not like when you do like interior design and the drapes are up and they look amazing for six months or a year or 10 years. Um, maybe not 10, but something like that. In the garden, you have to catch stuff right at the right time. And I'm a mom of four kids and I never catch anything at the right time. So uh, I had all this broccoli, it was looking awesome. And now it's looking more like an alien. So you can see um, what happened. So I, I was letting it go and I thought one more day, one more day, and then I'm gonna harvest it. And then before you know it, it bolted all the way up, put out flowers. I didn't even document it when it was bolting and now it's making seed, which is super cool. And so I guess it is a fun thing to show you. Um, but I basically grew four broccoli plants in order to grow more seeds, to grow more broccoli plants. And I already have broccoli seeds. So um, it's kind of a fail and I'm embarrassed about it. Okay, next thing is the fact that I've got two bags of soil right here in my garden. So I bought these, I tried to go, um, I am making my own, own compost, but it's slow to make. So I went and bought these bags. They weren't even the kind that I wanted. I was looking for a raised bed mix from Whitney Farms. So the place near me, closest to me is Ace Hardware. I don't like buying bags, but sometimes you just gotta do it. So I just needed a little bit of soil to amend my garden. And this was all they had that was organic and didn't have peat moss and things like that in it. So this is um, called organic planting soil. And I've used two bags, but I have two left and they're just sitting here in my garden. Um, I never show them to you guys because it's embarrassing. Um, a lot of you ask me though what I do use and it does have organic materials processed forest products. Oh, it does have some peat, humus, compost, rice hulls, and coconut core, alfalfa meal, and kelp meal. I generally try to buy soil that doesn't have any peat moss in it, but I think that does have a little bit. Um, the next thing I'm embarrassed about is this. I just have this dead lemon balm. I harvested this in a video last week, and I told you guys I was gonna bring it indoors and put it in my bathroom and create a bouquet with it. 
and instead it's just been sitting here for an entire week and looking dead and sad and embarrassing. All right, what are we at? Is that four? Four ways that I'm embarrassed already and I haven't even gotten into the kitchen garden. This is gonna be fun. Uh, the next thing I'm embarrassed about is this plant. This is called Tansy. I ordered this from an organic herb company two years ago and it was this big, literally, it was this big. And now it's this big and I've never grown it before. I've heard that it could be invasive. I haven't done the research on it. To be honest, I haven't read anything about it. I just have it sitting here and it's now huge. It's like the biggest thing in my entire garden space. All that it's gonna do, I think, is make flowers for me, which I'm not gonna use. I just think are pretty. And, um, and I don't actually know about the plant at all. So I need to research it. And then I'm thinking I probably need to pull it out of the garden. And the fact that it's still here is very embarrassing. Okay, moving on to my next point of embarrassment. Let's see what's out here. Okay, so I planted these cabbages, told you guys all about my cabbages, ran experiments on my cabbages, and um, I did harvest and enjoy quite a few of them, um, but a lot of them I let go way too long. So once again, I was trying to document them for you. I had this image in my head of how I was going to harvest all these cabbages, you know, like Garden Answer did. And I was going to have just piles and piles of cabbages. And then we had all these 90 degree days and suddenly all the cabbages started to bolt and be not so great. And so now this is what my cabbage actually looks like. And it's not pretty at all or Instagrammable or even YouTubeable, honestly. There's pests in here, there's dirt in here. There's all kinds of nasty stuff in here. And this plant just needs to go, but, um, but I'm too embarrassed to even deal with it. So, um, so that's number six, number five. I don't know, I'm losing count. All right, the next thing I'm embarrassed about is the fact that I have so much kale. If you missed my video about my kale plants, my kale harvest, I just way over planted kale. And I'm embarrassed about it because I'm a gardening pro and I should have done the math and realized that I definitely did not need all these plants. So now I have this um, dilemma. Do I leave the kale and keep the garden full or do I take them out and admit that I made a mistake? That's very embarrassing. Um, the next thing I'm embarrassed about is the fact that I have all these tomato uh, kale and they're blocking my tomatoes, which is like my calling card. It's like my thing in the garden which is growing tomatoes up an arch trellis. If you've never watched my video series on that, you gotta check it out. Um, but because I'm letting this embarrassment about my kale live on, it's now embarrassing me about the fact that I don't have many tomatoes yet and it's almost, or it is July. Um, so I have actually students of mine, like people I taught how to garden, who live in my area who already have tomatoes and I don't, and that's very embarrassing humiliating actually. Okay, moving on. Let's see if I can find a few more things that embarrass me. I'm sure I can. Um, I still have all these plants that have bolted from the spring. So um, I'm now growing an alien here. I like you guys to meet my alien friend. Uh, yes, what do you think of this alien? So this is actually um, French breakfast radish gone to seed. And um, I'm pretty sure it looks like an alien. So I don't need any more radish seed. I have a ton and I really don't have space to be growing plants for seed, but in fact I am and, um, and I'm embarrassed about it. So I hide this back here and I don't ever show anybody because it's very embarrassing. <laughs> okay, into my next bed. Um, I had this plant growing in these beds. I could tell it was a weed of some sort. I asked you guys what y'all thought it was. Some of y'all had different ideas um, and it's still literally here. So I've pulled out a lot of it, um, but it keeps coming back. It's starting to produce some kind of flower thing. So I guess that would tell me what it is, but um, I never actually identified it and I never really fully got rid of it. And that's super embarrassing. Um, I don't know what it is and I don't know why it's here. And some of you guys know that more than I do. And that's embarrassing. Um, and I don't know if I'll ever get rid of them. Next thing I'm so embarrassed about is, it was just caught on another video, is this lettuce that should have come out a while ago. And because it didn't, it now looks like 
the slimy stuff in your refrigerator. It's so gross and I should have dealt with it weeks ago, but I didn't. And so now, because of all the rain we've had this week, um, I have garden slime all in my beautiful, picture perfect uh, garden. And that's very embarrassing. So I would never show that to you normally, only on my video where I'm telling you all these embarrassing things. It's very humiliating. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find one or two more. I'm sure I can. Okay, now I know which one I was gonna show you. Um, a couple weeks ago, we put together a big, big trellis. It's right over here. It took me about 30, 45 minutes to put it together. And I told you guys I had grand plans for this trellis. I was gonna move this into my backyard. I was gonna grow vines on it. I was gonna do all kinds of amazing things. Well, as soon as that video was over, Eric, my great videographer, helped me carry this over to this very spot and place it here, just temporarily. And we put it here, and uh, that was about a month ago. <laughs> and here it still sits, right outside my kitchen window, so that my husband, every single morning, can look out the window and see this huge trellis that has literally no purpose in being here. So that is very embarrassing, because I didn't do what I told you I was gonna do. And every single day, not only do I get to be reminded of the fact that I didn't follow through, but my husband does as well, which is very, say it with me, embarrassing. <laughs> All right, I think that's about it. Maybe the last thing I am embarrassed about, I have to say, is this is my first time growing this plant. And I've had a lot of people ask me what I'm gonna do with it, and I literally have no idea. And this is ground cherries. So I bought this plant from a local farmer and uh, I know ground cherries are in the tomato plant family, so I know the timing is right. And it looks like it's doing a good job, but I recently, uh, this showed up on my Instagram stories and I've had a number of people reach out and they said, ooh, ground cherry, what are you gonna do with that? And um, I have no idea, like none. Like I don't even know how to use ground cherries. I'm assuming you can eat them. <laughs> So, um, so I just told her, I said, I'm embarrassed to tell you this, but I literally have no idea. So I've got ground cherries here and here. Um, don't know much about growing them, just literally experimenting and seeing what happens. Um, but I have nothing to teach about them because I don't know about them because I didn't look them up. And that's embarrassing. All right, my friends, I hope this helps you in some small way to know that if you ever feel embarrassed about anything in your garden, you are never alone. In fact, I was just having this conversation with about five or six other garden coaches inside of Gardenary, and they were all comparing their gardens to each other's. And they were all saying that every time they see the other gardener's garden on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or whatever, they feel like they're so inadequate, like they're doing such a bad job in their own garden. And it was so funny as we went around, every single person said the exact same thing, that every time they saw someone else's garden, it made them feel bad about their own. So I was thinking about that conversation, that's actually what prompted me to make this video. Because the point in sharing our gardens is never to make other people feel bad about what they have or feel embarrassed about what they're growing or not growing. It's to inspire each other, right? It's to show each other, hey, I did this, you can do it too. Or I made this mistake, don't make it. Learn from me, right? So that's the purpose and that's why I wanted to share my embarrassing moments, kind of pull back the curtain, let you see a little wider frame of all the things that are failing or just a mess in my own garden. Not timed right, not productive, not doing what they should be doing. Things that just don't make me feel great about myself as a gardener. Um, so hopefully it'll make you feel better about yourself. If you love growing in the garden and if you're looking for a community like this, people who you can say, hey, when I saw your garden, it made me feel bad about my own. That's exactly what we have inside of Gardenary 365. So Gardenary 365 is all kinds of education and training in the garden. It's a place to build your own garden-centered habits, but it's also a community. It's gardeners from all over who come together and encourage each other to keep going in the garden. So if you're looking for a garden-centered community, Gardenary 365 may just be it. You can find more about it at the link below this video. 
thanks so much for watching and for, um, you know, being kind to me in all my embarrassing moments. I'd love to hear your most embarrassing thing in the garden so I don't feel so, you know, ashamed over here by myself. So put your most embarrassing part of your garden right now in the comments below and uh, let's all laugh and, uh, you know, encourage each other that it doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.